Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Always do your best. Take action on your ideas. This is always a great weekend card. Doing your best means to take action on your ideas. You have many great ideas in your head, but without action upon an idea, there will be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 197, NASDAQ off 152, S&P's down 39. Gold. Gold contract up $11.90, trading at $19.92.50 an ounce. You get silver up 50 cents, $23.54 an ounce. Light sweet crude down 62 cents. $88.75 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, up 19 ticks, trading 106 flat. The 30-year up 22 at 108, 17, and king dollar. King dollar is down 93 ticks, trading at 106, 160. The euro is at 105. The yen is trading out here at 149. The British pound is at 121 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in y'all world. So let's go to the world of the futures first because you got option expiration coming in at the close. We'll take a look at the futures first. You know, kind of, it was a straight line move down this morning. Okay, so you don't have a high volume low down here. So that's actually saying that we are going to, you know, what we did is this. We had a straight line move down. You took back maybe that 50% of it, that's what it looks like. Yeah, you actually took back 61 point. Yeah, you took back 61%. So this is going to get interesting because you get some volume up there. So we'll see how this shakes out, but you, you have a shot of going right back up to where we just did that uh, counter trend bounce. Now, that being said, if we go to the SPY, what you're going to see is that you're trading at the 322 area. Well, yeah, 322. And it's the 320 area that's right at those lows. 320, 322 is the number. And what we've done so far is this. You've done 85 million shares. You're going into 113. Yesterday, we did 121. So bottom line is that, you know, we don't have a rejection of lower price yet, but that's the bottom of the consolidation. And something to keep in mind is this. You know, when I was talking, when we were talking with Tim Ward yesterday, the bottom line is that if you have this area does not hold, well, your next area is down to 4,000. That's what it comes down to, really. You know, you get something at, uh, yeah, 400 on the S&P. 400. Yeah, realistically, that's the next swing point. Let me do it a different way. One second. Let me, I'll put the SPX up. Yeah, your next level, you're at 42, 42. Put it weekly on this. Yeah, it's the same, it's the same deal. Not that much, actually, it's not that much lower, actually. That's interesting. 41.59. Yeah, it's not. It's not. So this 41.59 is going to have, this is on the cash S&P, you know, and the cash S&P is trading 42.43. Well, it doesn't trade, okay? The way the cash S&P works, folks, is that all the S&P stocks, they add them up, and then they do the weight structure, and that's how you get that number. Yeah, so we'll see if this baby's going to hold uh, at the first bottom, the first consolidated bottom, which is held in the past. Um, Q's. The Q's down 55 million right now. Yesterday we did uh, 72, and we could still do 72. Yeah, we're going to do 72, man, because option expiration, you're going to do some. You're going to do some numbers here. The 355, 351 is the bottom of this consolidation. Then we go into the note and bond market. Now this one's going to get really. Dicey because the note and bond market did a one-way trip on the way down. 
we got a bounce out here today. It's 1.6 million shares, kind of contracts rather. Now, what that is, that is a rejection of lower price on lighter volume. But the way that the note and bond market is going, you need some follow through, man. That's the real bottom line. First off, you need, on the 10 year, we're at 106. You got to get back inside the 106, well, 03, which is not bad, to get just in the higher range. We take a look at the TLT, the 20 year plus, what you're going to see out here. Yeah, you're up 43 cents. Put this back though on a monthly and see what we're looking at. Okay, so. Oh, I see. One second, hold it. Now, this is where this gets tricky on the. Yeah, see? So what happens here is this, folks. On these ETFs, you got to really wrap your head around this when looking at charts. So the expense ratio on the TLT is only 0.15 of 1%. Now, that's not a lot. It is a lot, however, when you going back. Now, watch this, because I pull this back. And i got to go back 20 years. Actually, 10 years. Just to find out what it's going into. Actually, 20 years. <laughs> so you can imagine that amount of time multiplied times 0.15 will give you the aspect of just how much is shaved off the number because of the fact of the expense ratios. You know, so you got to take that into consideration when you look at it. We, have, we, we did have out here today is that you got the rejection of lower price inside of the notes, the bonds, and the dollar is still on the lower end of its channel line. So the dollar is saying it's going lower. Take a look at the dollar out here. We're down 89 ticks. And you can see you're down the lower end of it. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.